done this one in a while, so I gotta ask a question on Vince Gironda's steak and egg diet. Carb ups and cheat meals. Long story short, there's an induction phase with any low carb, high fat lifestyle. You gotta give yourself at least 12 to 14 days, at least that long, of getting predominantly all of your calories from fat and absolving yourself of carbohydrates. Uh, while doing this, limit your nut intake. If anything, expel it because uh, for a lot of people, myself included, when you're in an induction phase, you're going to want to start uh, snacking a lot on nuts and those residual carbs add up. There's a lot better fat sources than nuts to begin with. So, moving on. After you're past uh, an induction phase, that's when uh, you start to lower your fats a little bit. Vince would have people really pour on fats. He'd have people drinking shakes that consisted of up to a cup and a half, two cups of heavy cream with a, a few raw eggs in it and maybe a tablespoon or two of uh, milk and egg protein powder. So this is all ways of uh, curbing cravings and giving yourself plenty of calories to be satiated while uh, absolving carbohydrates from your diet. So once you're, you've uh, gone through your induction phase, once it's been a good two to three weeks, start pulling back on the fats. Only what you need to come in to make sure that uh, your, your diet isn't predominantly protein. Because low carb, high fat diets, like Vince's steak and eggs diet, it's not a high protein diet. It's a fat heavy diet with protein. So as much butter as you need to cook your eggs, maybe a little bit extra butter to cook your eggs with, that are going in with your fatty steak. Don't make the mistake of eating lean steak. Once you start losing a pump in the gym, once you start having a, a lagging workout, that's when all glycogen is gonna be completely rid of the muscles. And that's when, if uh, your training volume is appropriate, if not, if maybe if you're overtraining, you can go backwards. You're gonna start going into a catabolic phase. This is when carb loads are necessary. Vince and myself included, carb loads are to be done isolated and sparsely. You're not going out trying to go ballistic on pizza, ice cream, donuts, and all this stuff. I eat donuts on carb up sometimes. Uh, I've had pizza when on nights when I'm treating my the the day of a carb up more like a cheat meal. There's a huge difference between a cheat meal and a carb load. Carb loads, you're isolating that macronutrient get in a minimal amount of protein and as little fat as possible when you're doing your carb loads. With Vince, a carb up would consist of a medium to large plate of pasta with nothing but tomato sauce on it. No oils, no meats, no artichoke hearts, no cheese, no nothing. Just tomato and starch. That's all you were to take in. And then maybe four or five hours later, you have a, uh, a protein meal again. And then after that, it's time for bed. So take that for what it is. You got to really be able to uh, build that communication basis with your body on what does it actually need to keep hormetics going, to keep your workouts fueled, to keep recovery from your workouts going, and what is your... Uh, body craving and when I say body I really mean your fat cells so you really need to be able to figure out what that communication basis is going to be with your body so this way you can nourish your muscle with adequate amounts of fat appropriate amounts of protein not too much protein and uh, punctuated focused carb loads so I hope this is helpful and uh, like comment the video if uh, people are still subscribed. Thanks for sticking around. I know I don't upload hardly as often as you'd like. 
and uh, keep the questions coming. Um, and just as a just as a uh, uh, kind of a hint, if anybody asks me Vince Geronda questions, I can't help but answer them. All right, bye.